Hello YouTube. I just wanted to give everyone an update. I uh, I mean I'm sure most people have seen my website poormanguides.net uh, but this is my blog and the website is pretty static you know just every now and again I'll add a new book and uh, other than that it doesn't change much but the blog is actually changing five days a week I'm adding new stuff you know five days a week and sometimes more so I want everyone everyone to be aware of that and uh, let me show you how to get there it's uh, HTTP colon slash slash poor man guides dot blogspot dot com and it's called renewable energy for the poor man anything from wind turbines to welding with batteries to homemade battery desulfators to finding free forklift batteries and everything in between um, let's see some stuff I've talked about like today I talked about do-it-yourself solar hot water uh, some interesting things about unglazed flat plate in a evacuated tube. Um, evacuated tube is not as efficient as people think it is. And let's see, some more stuff. Uh, let me just go over the list of stuff I have. Um, just some recent stuff. Uh, Do-it-yourself solar hot water, pizza box solar oven, cheap source of bearings really interesting uh, you know the the cheapest source of nice bearings uh, then there's nature mill indoor composter uh, making some extra money for the summer that's a little project I did uh, do-it-yourself worm farm composter uh, you know making a box for red worms to eat all your compost and by the way they eat a lot of compost um, a refrigerator that uses no power uh, a 2 liter 50 watt light. That's an odd one. You'll have to look at that one as a video. I uh, got a thermo siphon solar air heater with heat storage. I uh, got a homemade do it yourself battery desulfator charger, which most people on YouTube have seen that if they've seen my other videos. Uh, solar power trike. And wall mount solar oven. I look at the maglev wind turbine and I crunch a little numbers and show you how, how it's much better than nuclear power. Uh, battery powered lawnmower. Let's do it yourself, of course. Um, let's see, do it yourself homemade dump load. That's for windmills. Um, let's see. I also have a worm farm composter that's, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking at a do it yourself worm farm composter that's meant to replace. Uh, like the sewage system in a house. Now, of course, people would only do this out in the country because in the city they wouldn't let you do it. Uh, maybe in the future they will because they'll have no choice. But in this case, it's uh, basically taking, getting, you know, instead of putting a septic system in or getting rid of the septic system and replacing it with a very large worm composting system that will take raw sewage, it'll take all of your paper, it'll take all of your meat. Uh, any uh, any food product that will break down, it'll take it all, and including gray water. And the only thing that comes out is um, is basically worm castings mixed in the water. They call it worm tea, and uh, you can drain it right into your garden, and it makes your garden just incredible. And it doesn't have all the nasty outputs, the, you know, the disease that can come out of a septic system. A septic system is not that great. So, anyway, I'll talk about that. And let's see. Uh, this is just all the way through June. I, I mean, May has another 16 articles, but, uh, and I've only been up, you know, I've had this up a month and a half maybe. Uh, do it yourself grid tie. I talk about my new book there. Um, let's see what else. Oh, bubble wrap windows super insulation, you know, using bubble wrap on windows and the pros and cons to that and uh, another a super efficient fridge which basically is converting very easily converting a freezer to run as a fridge and uh, it's, it's amazing it's almost like the powers that be didn't think of that they didn't think people would use a freezer as a fridge otherwise they would have designed it differently because when you see when this thing uses just a few watts a day you know, when it when it only turns on uh, for a few minutes every hour, it's it just it's incredible. 
So anyway, that's, uh, that's using a, a cheap freezer as a super efficient fridge. Now you could buy one of those fridges that are $2,500 and they're meant for solar panels, but this is just about as efficient and you can get them for cheap. In fact, you can find free freezers out there all the time. You know, or you can buy a new one for 150 Anyway, I just wanted you guys to know that and uh, take a look at my blog and let me know what you think. See you guys later.